and welcome to this special exhibit of weather pointers from Tom Peterson. Tom was a weather director at KCAU TV for nearly 17 years, and a pointer was his trademark. It all started back in 1977 when Tom was auditioning for the weather job at Channel 9. To put a touche on the end of that audition, Tom flipped a pen that he had in his hand. The gesture caught on and expanded from pens to nearly everything imaginable. Tom had only a few rules. One, the object had to be pointy, and second, he had to be able to flip it during the weather cast. That opened the door for hundreds of people to send Tom elaborate devices to be flipped on television. Many were handmade and promoted civic functions and celebrations. Tom kept nearly all the pointers that came his way and even dubbed the room in his house that contained the pointers, the pointer room. Tom left his pointer to the museum in his will. Thanks for viewing this pointer exhibit. Hope you enjoyed it. As we go around the exhibit hall, we'll stop with each individual exhibit case and give you an idea of the type of pointers uh, in each, each uh, exhibit case and where they came from, starting with this case, number one. And we're focused on the back wall of this case. The first thing we see is um, an arrow, wooden arrow, from the Howard family from Ocheedon, Iowa. On the left of that is a little wo wooden robin cutout. Um, no name of where that came from. Um, we have the Hobie Cat Fleet, number 291 from Yankton, South Dakota. Then down below, there's the, the pointer dog that says Peterson's Pointer on that, but no other indication of where that came from. We have the little banjo from the Lions Bluegrass Festival and Fireworks Display from Lions, Nebraska. And in the front is the Minnesota mosquito, and the source for that little pointer is also unknown. The big yellow key, the wooden cutout, is um, from uh, the library, National Library Week, Books Unlock Your Future, from Spencer, Iowa. And then there is the from the Rembrandt Fire Department, um, a pike pole. And in the back corner, there's a soft sculpture from Helen Gebnauer from Alton, Iowa. On this wall, we have an example of toll painting in the form of a little pointer. It's from the toll month, um, Connie Lanigan, South Sioux City, Nebraska. And below that, is a special German weather forecaster from Helen May Rose from Lamars, Iowa. On the right here we have the bunny in a balloon pointer from Mrs. Charles Witter, Newell, Iowa. And directly below that, a pointer from the High 12 Club, Sioux City, Iowa. Okay, we're focusing on case number two. On the back wall, we have a Star Spangle Spectacular pointer. We do not know the source of that pointer. Uh, directly below that is a mannequin's leg, and it's from the Spencer Community Theater in Spencer, Iowa. Then we have the little heart and cow wooden cutout from Mary DeGroot. And over in the corner, there's the bird uh, tree house with birds and and uh, little birdhouses on a branch, and that's from the Junior League in Sioux City, Iowa. And down below here we have the Gospel Mission Old Time Mu Mountain Music. Mitch Johnson sent that to Tom, and that's from Cherokee, Iowa. We have um, the Rag Bry uh, 21 uh, Bike Race Across Iowa, 1993. And then we have um, Santa's sleigh, that's a cutout and, and a painting from the East Catholic Elementary School in Hartington, Nebraska. And then we have the square dancers, a very nice cutout, but the source is unknown. And then we have a little wooden cutout of a, a little snowman there from Donald Powell in Spirit Lake, Iowa. On 
On this wall we have an example of a little cut out wooden shoe and it's from Ed Lancaster of Orange City, Iowa. And above that it's the Siouxland Singers Sioux City YWCA pointer. And in the corner we have a little soft sculpture, an Abu Becker uh, fellow there with the likeness of Tom we think. And that's all on that side. And on this side we have a cutout of a barn and a silo on a pointer. And it's from Sac County Farm, Jane Hogue from Odebolt, Iowa. Okay, we're at case number three. On the back wall here we have a very large pointer with the inscription Partnerships in Education. The source of this pointer is unknown. Below that is another arrow from a pointer from West Sioux High School in Haywarden, Ireton. And directly down below is a large wooden key that says Preserving the Past. And it's from Havelock, Iowa from the centennial there. In front of that we have a large wooden hand with the words reaching out to youth, Elks National Youth Week. And that's from Estherville Elks Lodge, number 528. In front of that we have a little lace parasol from uh, Everly, Iowa Centennial. And then over to the left from St. Anthony's Auction, there's a little um, saw inscribed there. And the source of that we, we don't know. Um, directly behind that we have um, a large goosehead bedpan um, from Robert Hassock, Sac City, Iowa. And in the corner behind that is a little autographed class bat from Belden, Nebraska. And then we see this um, little wooden cutout pointer uh, called the Glory Days Bible School from Charter Oak Ute. And then last in this case we have the pallet pointer from the Red Barn in Storm Lake, Iowa. And in the corner there's a cane, a large um, uh, handcrafted cane. We don't have a source listed for that particular pointer. Okay, we're at case number four now, and we're looking at the back uh, wall of this case, starting with St. Mary's School. It's a little pointer with a row of ducks, and that's from Osman, Nebraska. And below that, um, a yard stick with uh, school uh, emblems on that. It's from Sioux Center Christian School. And directly below that, large red um, Pillow Lips that says Love and Kisses from the residents of the Green Acres Care Center in South Sioux City, Nebraska. Over to the right we have the Fire Prevention Week, Future Farmers of America sent this from Emmitsburg, Iowa. Then we have the little wooden kitty cutout from the Sioux City Humane Society. We have a, a connecting rod type of a pointer here from the Sioux City Odd Rod Club. And then the little tree in the back, uh, the, the cutout tree with butterflies, is from Roots and Wings Preschool um, of Grace United Methodist Church. And that's from Arnie and Sandy Fleck from Sioux City, Iowa. And then last in front of that is um, the Brinkerhoff Martell Barbed Wire. And that's from Cap Martell in Pierce, Nebraska. Okay, here we're looking at a mosaic type of arrow pointer from the Woodbury County Care Facility. This is a pointer celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Plymouth County Historical Museum in Lamars, Iowa. We're now at case number five and on the back wall starting left on the left side is um, a little reindeer that says Christmas is love. It's made out of a tea strainer. The source is unknown on that pointer. The next a large pointer in the center that says Peterson on it is an example of rose molding type of painting. And it's um, the board is actually a, a mink pelt stretching board and it's from Bonnie Larson 
and, and that was given in um, 1983. And on the right is a little clown cutout from the Senior Center in Sioux City, Iowa. Starting from the left, we have Bully Bullhead Weekend at Lost Island Lake, Ruthven, Iowa. In front of that, we have a little mouse cut out from Brad Christensen, Mapleton, Iowa. And in the very front, Tom Peterson, Channel 9. This was made by Ed Lancaster in Orange City. Behind that is the tomahawk from the fifth grade um, Iowa History Fair. We're not certain about the town on that. And then in the middle, there's a belt buckle that says Tom's Weather, and that's from Larry Pavlik, Orange Orchard, Nebraska. And then in the back, there's a comical little um, uh, weather thermometer that's called Tree Below Zero from Louie and Carol Barnfein from Sergeant Bluff, Iowa. And then the cutout of Tom Peterson caricature by Robert Lee from Sioux City, Iowa. And then uh, lying flat is the Pocahontas Heritage Days from Pocahontas, Iowa. Then we're looking here at a Nebraska bean spoon. That was sent in to Tom by Willard Wiltsey of Wayne, Nebraska. And then on the wall, Celebrating Uniqueness Week, a pointer from East Middle School in Sioux City. This is a large wooden cutout spoon. Uh, advertising the chili supper at West Middle School in Sioux City. This case number six. Huh? Okay, we're at case number six. On the back wall is a large um, pie in the face type of pointer, and it's from the Woodbury County 4 H and Youth Committee. Going uh, right over from that is the C&D Flyers pointer from Mr. and Mrs. George Rasper. And then there's a cane wrapped in dollar bills. The source is unknown on that. Going down to the left-hand side again, um, to the wooden rug beater in the corner. That's from Hornick Centennial, Hornick, Iowa. And in front of that is a small wooden um, windmill, source unknown. In the center of this exhibit is a Channel 9 space junk, Skylab 2, source unknown. Next to that is a puzzle pointer, carved out with a little ball in the arrow from Fred Bossert, Sheldon, Iowa. And going on across, there's a red metal snowblower, scoop and blow through handle from Gerd Buskey from Ottawa, Iowa. Behind that is an Alice in Wonderland pointer from Everly, Iowa. Okay, here we're looking at a weather rock from Paulina Centennial sent by Eileen McCleary from Paulina, Iowa. And on the right of that is a woven God's Eye, source unknown. On this wall, we have a large pencil type of pointer covered with stamps. The source is unknown on that pointer. Next to that, Scout Knots from Scoutorama 1991 in Sioux City, Iowa. And then Last, we have the little feet salt and pepper shakers that says, I walked my feet off in Nebraska. Okay, in case number seven, we have a very large Eskimo pie pointer, home of the Eskimo pie, Monona County Fair. It's advertising, and that's in Ottawa, Iowa. 
next to that, we have a little a hand signal uh, pointer that says, I love you, Tom. It's from Hearing Impaired Students, Rock Valley Community Schools, Rock Valley, Iowa. And then next to that, there's a magic wand pointer. Mrs. Knight's reading class, Spencer, Iowa Middle School. We're looking at a desk plate cutout of wooden, a wooden desk plate from G.H. Joe Lubke, Norfolk, Nebraska. In front of that, from Jennifer Vanderlinden, Longfellow Elementary School, a cutout from, uh, that's from Sioux City, Iowa. And behind that is a small, small Christmas. It's a music box from Everly, Iowa. This is a cutout of a paintbrush uh, advertising National Toll and Decorative Painters Week from Lakeview, Iowa. And then in the corner, there's a painted tomahawk made of, from wood from the Ute Centennial in Ute, Iowa. This is titled, A Scandinavian Fly Swatter, and it's from the Senior Center in Sioux City, Iowa. This is case number eight, and starting at the back wall, we see an, a pointer from the Industrial Arts Club in Rock Valley, Iowa. Below that, from Holstein, a centennial um, pointer. And then over on the left, um, we have a, a fire hose nozzle, and that's from the Terrell Fire Department in Terrell, Iowa. In front of that, there's a little leprechaun type of pointer, source unknown on that one. Down in front uh, is a lens stock. This is used to light uh, cannon fuse, and that's from the Sioux River muzzle loaders. Behind that, from Orange City Hospital Bazaar Advertising, um, that's from uh, 1983, a hand cast uh, with painting on it. And behind that, a wooden cutout that says Arthur, Arthur Centennial, and that's Arthur, Iowa. And over on the right is um, a pilgrim cutout celebrating um, Centennial of Rolfe, Iowa. Okay, and here we have a pointer made of a, a welded chain with a sink plug on the end of it that says, Save Our Pool from the Chamber of Commerce in Neural, Iowa. A George Engelbretson Field pointer that uh, shows a wooden bat and a ball with the date 1988 on it. Source is unknown on that pointer. And this is a clock pendulum pointer from Francis LeClaire in Sioux City, Iowa. This is the case number nine and the last case in the exhibit. From the top, um, on the back wall of this case, we have a pointer from the Floyd Valley T-Birds. Below that is the Holy Trinity Trojans fourth grade class in Hardington, Nebraska. And below that pointer is a, a pointer announcing an open house at the Woodbury County Care Facility. That pointer is uh, made of fabric. Then here we have a pointer made of wooden, it's a wooden uh, pencil that says Tom Terrific. Next to that is the Golden Knight's Baton from the U.S. Army Parachute Team. Then we have a metal uh, cut out and welded piece from Pack 209. The source on that pointer is unknown. Above that is a, a little figure uh, dressed uh, in a red dress. It's um, from the Tootsie Cotillion from Ruthven, Iowa. And then on the wall from a youngster named Chad Wendell in first grade. Uh, Sergeant Bluff Luton, he's made a thermometer on fabric.
right in the front, um, we see a desk plate, a wooden cutout resembling a Chinese puzzle. It says Tom Peterson. Behind that is the baton, the Golden Knights baton from the U.S. Army Parachute Team. And then directly behind that, a wooden pencil cutout with the name Tom Terrific on it. In the corner here, we have a rocket launcher. It's actually an egg launcher from uh, the Hardington Centennial. It was um, sent by Robert Beckenbauer and Son from Hardington, Nebraska. And then on the wall, there's a little fishing rod pointer. It's from Mrs. Belden's fifth grade in Milford Community School in Milford, Iowa. In our Treasure of the Month case, we're featuring an oil-colored photograph of a young Tom Peterson. And in the foreground is a um, um, brief biographical sketch, sketch um, of Tom with a few uh, statements by uh, Greg Lund also.